Well, Subaru certainly has one of the more impressive booths at the Chicago Auto Show. And they're really leaning into the outdoorsy theme with rooftop tents, bike racks, kayak racks. And they have the new Crosstrek on display here. This area is really cool. It's really trippy to walk on this uh, floor when everything's changing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the all-new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. This exciting new Crosstrek is going to come with two different boxer engines, 2.0 or 2.5, 8.7 inches of ground clearance, standard EyeSight driver assist technology, and available dual function X mode with hill descent control for maximum traction. If you're looking for comfort and convenience, 120.4 cubic feet of total interior space, an 11.6 inch touchscreen with integrated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as available premium Harman Kardon audio. While you're here, please enjoy the beauty and tranquility of our Subaru display. This display represents our long-standing partnership with the national parks, as well as our strong commitment to the environment. As part of our Zero Landfill Initiative, you will find various messages throughout the display that will inform you of Subaru's effects and efforts in the, ex well, there's a little in the area of recycling. Sneak peek of what it's like to also, be here. please visit our Subaru Loves Pets display, which also highlights... Well, let's check out some of the other offerings. Let's check out some SUVs. We've got uh, three here, or a wagon and two SUVs. We've got the Ascent, Forester, and, of course, the Outback. Let's stuff my pack in the bush and we'll check these out. Okay, let's start with the Forester. They have a Forester and an Outback in, these, in this beautiful blue color. It's been a while since I spent a lot of time with a Forester. Uh, we actually had a 14 Forester when they came out and it was a very capable vehicle. It wasn't the most comfortable though to ride in. The ride was a little rough and the seats were a little uncomfortable. Here's a look at the interior. And we'll see if these seats are any better. Yeah, I think they are a little better than I remember. A little bit more support, a little bit more padding. Of course, with the symmetrical all-wheel drive, these things are actually really impressive. Uh, if you do take them off-road a little bit, we did with ours a little bit. Found a snowy trail and had it on three wheels at one point. So that was pretty interesting. And it made it through an area we should not have been in. Okay. Yeah, and the second row passenger space is fantastic. Love this color, especially under these lights. All right, let's take a look at the Ascent really quick. This has been redesigned a little bit. The current model here. Vertical touch screen. This layout is a little bit different compared to a lot of the other vehicles in its class. This uh, console seems really low, a cup holders are really low, and you sit in kind of a high seating position. The seat's going down a little bit, so it's a little different, but still pretty high.
Okay, this is an area I remember being particularly uncomfortable when these came out, and that was the second row seats. So we'll see how it is when I sit behind myself, and oh boy, it's pretty tight in here. Uh, I can sit uh, the seat all the way back in a lot of other vehicles and have plenty of space. But it's a little cramped here in the second row. Okay, let's go take a look at that outback. For some, adventure is a higher quality. Again, this beautiful blue. Very interesting. The non-metallic color. And pretty similar, this is much more comfortable than the Ascent to sit in. And of course you sit, this is more of a wagon, you sit a little bit lower in the car, down in the car like a sedan. These are comfortable, these are going to ride a little better than the Forester, they're going to ride a little better than the Ascent probably just because they have a nice long wheelbase. Oh yeah, and this is still a little tight, but much more comfortable all around than the Ascent was. These wilderness editions, this one comes with really nice roof rails. Get some nice tule racks on here. And some skis. Take a look in the hatch here. This is pretty good size. Spare tire underneath, not much room for storage. They got these uh, nice rubberized mats in this one and protect the wheel wells. And since we're here, we'll take a look at the Forester. Pretty standard fare for this class of vehicle. Oh, interesting. It's hard to get the uh, hard to get this cover up with these little guards on there. But just a spare tire underneath there. Walk over and take a peek at one more thing. Here we are with the new electric offering, Solterra. Give you a quick shot of this before we get run over by some little carts. Let's take a seat in this. Massive center console in here. A very odd design for the steering column. Okay. Yeah, this kind of sits like the Outback. It sits like a sedan. This is pretty intrusive for me, but it's got an interesting cloth dash. The seats are comfortable. Let's take a look at the second row. Okay, you're definitely sitting on the floor in this one a little bit more. Knees are up a little high, and the seat bottom is pretty low. Panoramic moonroof or dual moonroofs. And take a look at the hatch here. It's 
so there you have it. It's kind of what's new and interesting here at the Subaru booth this year at the Chicago Auto Show in 2023. Yeah, this is trippy. <laughs> trippy to walk on. Anyway, thanks for watching.